All right, welcome back to Below the Surface. Today we are on the Miss Louise. The Miss Louise is part of the Panhandle Shipwreck Trail. She sits in 60 feet of water. She's 90 feet long, and she's a pretty shallow dive, just right outside the Destin Pass. I came down here looking for lionfish. The last wreck that we were on had quite a few, but this one, once I got down, there wasn't a lionfish to be had. But there was a whole lot of flounder. And lucky for me, flounder's in season. I'm just kind of floating around, checking them all out. At first I wasn't really going for flounder, like I said, so that one got away. And it's not until about halfway through the dive that I decided that I was going to take something home with me. Still going around looking for lionfish. But like I said, it's a pretty shallow dive, so the visibility is not that great, probably 20 feet at most. There's a lot of sediment in the water, but there are a whole lot of little pinfish. And look at that guy, there goes another one. This is about the time where I decided that it was gonna be me or the flounder. The Panhandle Shipwreck Trail is pretty cool. It's a whole list of different ships that you can dive on. It's almost like a scavenger hunt. Check them off as you dive them, try to dive them all. Eventually I'll get there, one wreck at a time. What do you guys think about my 80s music on this one? Man, I do like me some 80s. All right, that guy, he's gonna be my first victim. I'm tired of watching him swim in front of me. Got him. They're pretty fun, they're kind of hard to see. They blend in really well. And they're super fast, so if you spook them, they're gone. But for the most part, they'll just sit there and let you poke them. The coolest part about it is not only you diving, but you're also bringing home some dinner. So you get to go down and enjoy the sights, see some stuff that most normal people can't see and then find some fish to bring home. Now my purpose behind these diving videos where I'm showing you guys these wrecks and giving you the coordinates. One, if you're a diver, it gives you a chance to see what you uh, can possibly dive on over here in the Gulf Coast. And then number two, I'm a fishing channel. So I wanna show you guys where the coordinates are, what type of fish are down here, the depths, and then possibly recommend a good jig gram to either come jig it or troll around it. One of the hardest parts about moving to a new area is finding good spots to fish. So if you can check out my channel and then find good coordinates, go fish them, and then come back and leave a comment on these videos and let me know if you had any luck. Let me know what fish you caught. What'd you use to catch them? Slow pitch jig, fast pitch jig, live bait, this one with all these flounder on it, I think uh, if you came out here with, well, it's 60 feet, so you'd have to use a pretty big gram to get down, but something with a paddle tail or a jig on it and just kind of work it, you're gonna pull up a lot of these flounder. I mean, this shipwreck was loaded with them. Probably every five feet I saw another flounder. Look at this guy, barely even saw him, gone. This one moves up, comes down in this crack. And then you'll see I swim up here. And look, there's an, right over here. Right to you, look at him. Boy, you can't even really see him unless you're looking for him. He's gone. But that other one, there he is. Got him. So I don't know, I thought it was a pretty cool idea to make videos like this. There's not a whole lot of guys that show you different structures on where you can fish. I remember when I was younger, I used to watch a show called Hook and Look. A guy out bass fishing, and then another guy in the water showing the structure that the bass were hanging on. I don't know what ever happened to that show, but I thought it was pretty cool. Gives you a different take on the uh, fishing environment.
I ended up taking four flounder off this wreck. The limit was five, but four was really all I needed. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I clean them. So stick around and watch that because it's uh, kind of an interesting fish to fillet. Then coming up, you see these little, uh, I think they're gag groupers. You guys comment down below if I'm wrong. Let me know what they are. But they're pretty cool. So like I said, the water was pretty murky, so I'm taking the line back up. And as I'm going up, the other guys are starting to come down. Again, I'm out with Shark Quest Dive Charters. Check them out there out of Fort Walton Beach. Really good group of guys to dive with. I know I say it in all my videos, but I can't push them enough. And that's it for this dive. I'm going up. All right, we're back at the dock. The Miss Louise was pretty awesome. It is seriously like three miles outside of the Destin Pass, a little bit to the east, and it's a pretty shallow dive. So I think I, I came back up with like 2,000 PSI because I just got, you know, I went down and speared all the flounder that I could spear, put them in my zookeeper, and I came back up. So it was a pretty epic dive. Got to spear some fish. So we're going to go home. We're going to cook these things up. All right, we're back at the house. We're at the cleaning station. I'm going to show you guys how I clean out a flounder. It's a pretty easy method and it gets you the most meat. Here's one flounder that I already cleared out. That's his bottom belly, bottom top. And the other side, look at that. That's a good chunk of meat, good chunk of fillets. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it on this guy right here. All right, we're gonna start with our first cut, which is along his top side. Look at his two little eyeballs. These fish are like the coolest looking fish, are like miniature little halibut. So we're gonna come behind the peck fin and we're just gonna cut at an angle up towards the head. Try to get some of the head meat. Just like so. Then our next cut is gonna come right down his spine, his lateral line. Just like that. So we just split the fish right in half. We're gonna take our fillet knife and we're just gonna work at an angle along his rib cage, pulling back as we go. My opinion, flounder is probably the best tasting fish in the ocean. You guys leave a comment below if you disagree. I think it's even better than Mahi Mahi. So you see, I'm just flaying back along those ribs. There you go, it's one fillet. Barely any meat left on that. And you're gonna come down, do the same thing for the bottom side. Make your cut, your diagonal cut, and come down here, cut along the tail. And you're just working the knife along those ribs again. There you go, there's the bottom half. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the belly side. Fish is filleted. Kind of see through them. That's how you know you got most of the meat. I left a little bit. Try to get a little bit better. But if you can see through it, then you probably got the majority of the meat out of it. Don't forget, hit the like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.